Linked lists. Linked lists are an abstract data type. They are a collection of data elements that are stored in a linear method. Let's take a look at how they operate. A standard list stores each data element that is added in the next location. However, a linked list does not store each element at an adjacent location. This is why it needs the ability to link the data elements in order to know their correct order. Each data element in a linked list is called a node, and each node contains the data stored as well as a pointer. A pointer is data that references where the next data element in the list can be located. This can often be a value to represent where the data is stored. The last node in the list does not have another data element to point to, so the pointer for this data element is called a null pointer. If data is removed from the list, certain actions need to occur. Let's take a look at an example. The second item of data in this list is removed. The pointer is removed from the data element that is removed, and the pointer from the node before the data element removed is changed. It can no longer point to the removed element as it has gone, so it is changed to point at the next item in the list. When data is added to a linked list, it is added to the first available space in the list. This could be at the end of the list. In this case, the pointer from the previous node is changed from null to point to the data element just added. The pointer for the data just added is now set to null. However, if a data element has been removed from the list, this may create an earlier space in the list. For example, if item 2 is removed from the list, this becomes the next available space. Therefore, data is added to this space, and the pointer from the last item of the list is changed from null to point to the new data element added. The pointer of the data just added then becomes the null pointer. OK, let's look at an example of the operation of a linked list. This linked list stores locations in the world that are part of an around the world trip. The locations stored in the list at present are New York, London, Paris, Rome, Berlin, Mumbai, Kuala Lumpur, and Sydney. The travel company updates the trip and some of the locations change. Berlin needs to be removed as a location and two more locations are added to the trip, Tokyo and Singapore. Tokyo will be visited after Mumbai and before Kuala Lumpur. Singapore will be visited after Kuala Lumpur and before Sydney. This is how the list is amended for the update. Firstly, Berlin is removed, and the pointer from Rome is now changed to point to Mumbai. Secondly, Tokyo is added to the next available space, which is the space left from removing Berlin. Tokyo will be visited after Mumbai, but before Kuala Lumpur, so the pointer from Mumbai is changed to point to Tokyo, and the pointer from Tokyo is set to point to Kuala Lumpur. Thirdly, Singapore is added to the list in the next available space, which is after Sydney. Singapore will be visited after Kuala Lumpur and before Sydney, so the pointer from Kuala Lumpur is changed to point to Singapore and the pointer from Singapore is set to point to Sydney. An array can be used to store a linked list. Each item of data in the linked list is stored in an element of the array. Linked list structures can be useful when storing data in an array especially if the data needs to be in a certain order. If an item of data is added to the array that needs to appear in the middle of the order, this can be an expensive process in terms of time and resources for the computer. It will need to shift the items around in the array to make space for the new data. However, if the data stored in the array is a linked list, then it will just be pointers that need to be changed. Why not try creating some linked lists of your own? Good luck!